Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education with Frank Avella, the history of special education. In the United States today, all students with disabilities have the right to special education services and a free public education. These children are protected by laws. Students classified as having disabilities are afforded accommodations and modifications. Accommodations are related to access of content, while modifications allow for changes to content. No doubt, these students benefit greatly from them today. However, this wasn't always the case. It was only with the help of certain advocacy groups. These advocacy groups were usually formed by parents of students with special needs and other members of that community. The advocacy groups lobbied and fought for these children by bringing their plight to the public eye as well as putting pressure on local and state politicians. They got the public involved. Now let's look at a quick outline of events beginning in the early 1800s that led to the achievements of today. Years ago, most students with disabilities did not attend school, and in most cases they were not accepted to schools. There are exceptions where some parents would have to pay money to get their child into private schools or pay for private tutors. Let's move along to the 1850s where a growing number of isolated schools for students with disabilities were available. These schools were mostly in rural areas but were moving in the right direction. Moving toward the 1880s, we sort of took a step back for disabled children. Scientist Francis Galton spread the ideas of eugenics which discussed the sterilization of disabled individuals. Individuals with disabilities began being placed in institutions, many of which provided conditions similar to a jail. Let's fast forward to the 1920s, and the good news is that more and more children with disabilities were finding their way into public schools, yet almost all were in separate classes and kept in separate rooms. Then, to an important time, the 1970s, which is really where special education started, laws were put in place for funding for special education students and Public Law 94-142 was passed as the foundation for special education. Continuing to the 1990s, where important laws such as IDEA of 1990 was passed, and students had the right to general education curriculum. And if you look at schools today, we see a push towards what is called the inclusion movement, which basically ensures all students with disabilities have the opportunities to participate with non-disabled general education peers. Right now I want to say thank you for your time, please like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, also help keep me going with a small contribution to my PayPal me link below.